What's going on YouTube? So, I am back. Finally moved into my new place. Uh, new old place, whatever, anyhow. It's fixed up. Back here. Uh, got my internet back. Um, still in the process of putting stuff away and moving everything in. Good news is, here in a few weeks, I'll have internet that's like three or four times as fast as I used to have. So I'll be able to do more stuff. Maybe I'll do some live streaming, whatever. Anyhow, so, uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on that. Um, but, I mean, yeah, things are going pretty good right now. Uh, let me give you guys a quick view here of my setup. Of my twin 37-inch monitors here. Oh. Yeah. But anyhow, we're going to do just a little, uh, just a quick blog, and I'm going to, just wanted to mention a few of your guys' comments here real quick. Hoping to get this up before, hopefully today, uh, hopefully I can get it edited and put up, um, <clears throat> before I got to go to work today. Um... But anywho, let's see here, community. All right, I'm going to start off. Not the oldest comment that I haven't answered since my last question, answer, comment section. But anyhow, this one is just awesome. It's in a comment about my 556 versus 223 video. And <laughs> I don't know if this guy's trolling me or what, but... I, 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 oh my god. Anyhow, it says, I have personally never noticed anyone shooting right-handed using their left eye in the scope. I can certainly understand if you have vision issues in your right eye, or is there some rationale I am not aware of? Well, I guess you're not aware of optics, because sometimes when you see things in a camera, they don't look the same as when they see them in person. For example, this is my right hand. Okay? This is my right eye. So if I'm holding a gun like this and I'm on like this, I'm using my right eye in the scope. Don't know how else to tell you that, buddy. Anyhow, just in case it's one of those brain fart moments, I'm not going to mention your name. But anyhow, if you go to the video, check out the video, 556 versus 223, look at the comment section. Sorry, Chris. I'm leaving it up. <laughs> anyhow. Let's go to something a little more pertinent. Uh, let's see here. I mean, I don't even know where I was at on the last question and answer section, so I'm not going to get into that. But, uh, I mean, there's a few of them on here that I think are just great, you know. Luke Shaw says, my Jeep sounds like sex. I don't know what kind of sex he's having, but my sex never sounded like my Jeep. But, I don't know. Jeep might get you a little excited, but... That doesn't sound like that, but anyhow. And yes, it's a big ass scope. Uh, whatever your name is, Beats. Uh, on a 16 inch gun, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big scope. It's a 4x16 power scope, but it also has a 4 inch sunshade on it. So, it makes it look a little bigger than it really is. Other thoughts uh, for this uh, blog slash comments. I think that's what I'm going to make this out of this this. YouTube section is just going to be basically a blog slash comments. And seriously, my phone just went off and said, Hey, it's dumbass. It's time to get up and go to work. At least get ready, get ready for work. Got about 45 minutes till I got to leave, so maybe I can get something going here for you guys. Blog of today. Well, we are T minus like one day and counting on a new president. And, uh, yeah, I know you're not supposed to talk about politics or all that stuff on YouTube, blah, 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 but, yeah, really sick. I don't really care. I'm sick of hearing anything about the political race and, you know, who grabbed who and, you know, who raped who and whose husband's a piece of crap and whose emails are worse than the other. I don't care, okay? This is what I care about. A... Trump's pro-life, where Hillary's pro-choice, so, you know, baby killer. Uh, Trump's an idiot, plain and simple. 
Trump's an idiot. Um, he might be a good money man, but he's like the worst politician on earth. If we had any kind of a decent politician in the Republican Party, they would completely destroyed Hillary in the debates. So, if Trump wins, it's going to take a miracle. Here's, here's the only thing that you need to take away from all of this. This election, the only thing that I find in it that matters whatsoever, really to me, is who it, Supreme Court justices are going to be appointed this term for the ones that are going to quit, retire, whatever. Um, you know, Hillary goes in there, you can kiss your gun rights goodbye. She's anti-gun, you know, she's going to put in Supreme Court justices, they're going to vote, you know, democratically, I guess, and, uh, yeah, we're screwed. You know, gun rights are going to be out the window, and, yeah, uh, I mean, will it be the end of the United States? No, probably not. I mean, we said that with Obama eight years ago, and, yeah, it's still here, amazingly. Granted, race is now the a big problem now again, and, you know, it wasn't <laughs> before he showed up, you know. I mean, I remember when 9-11 happened, and, it, and the only thing anybody cared about was being an American citizen, waving a flag, and killing terrorists. That, that's all we cared about. And now, all of a sudden, it's we're back to wanting to kill each other all the time. When we got you know, Muslim refugees raping and killing women when we've got all this other political unrest. Anyhow. But this is what matters. If Trump is elected, Trump is going to appoint, you know, hopefully somebody from the Republican Party for the Supreme Court justices, and Hillary's not saying Trump's pro-gun, so I would hope that would be in his decision for that. And that's the only reason I'm voting for Trump. Um, past that, I mean, I might as well just vote for Mickey Mouse because both the characters are just complete fucking idiots as far as I can tell. Um, I don't think either one of them is worthy to be president, but, uh, yeah, that's just how I feel about it. Um, feel free to comment all you want on this. Uh, yeah, anyhow. Um, <sighs> okay, anyhow rant over on the election. Um, anyhow, the whole vaping thing is still going good. Just FYI. Um, still doing it. Uh, through the course of this move, stressed me out, and I've been smoking a little bit through the move. Um, I'm actually smoking a lot during the move. But, uh, you know, coping mechanisms or whatever. But, uh, anyhow, uh, what else can we talk about? Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, I see my subscribers going up and down, up and down, up and down. I mean, they're pretty much going up, but I mean, you know, I mean, I'm almost losing as many subscribers as I'm gaining. So tell me, guys, what do you want to see? What did you subscribe to my channel to see? And I'll try to make more videos about that. I'll try to talk more about that. You know, whatever that topic is. The more time, well, basically, if you want information on something comment get on there comment whatever I mean even if it's something as you know oh my god retarded as uh, uh, Joshua Simmons puts on there instead of using sandbags try using a stack of Def Leppard CDs I don't even own a Def Leppard CD but okay you got a stack of them you want to send to me? They're all scratched up? By all means, I'll try it. I will try it. Promise. Granted, my AR-15 is not even in this state anymore. I wound up taking it to another state with one of my other relatives leaving it with them because if there's a big-ass gun grab in California for AR-15s, they're not getting mine. I didn't spend $3,000 on that gun to have it taken away by the government. And then them giving me a little bullshit check for like $300 going, oh, that's what the gun's worth. That's probably what will happen. Not tens of on the dollars, but what you're going to get for your guns. If that. It might just be, oh, AR-15s are worth 100 bucks a piece, period. Here's $100. Doesn't matter that there's a $1,000 scope on it, but by all means, here's 100 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, go America. Fucking communist California.
drive a man to vape. Oh, anyhow, oh, I got more vape videos, uh, stuff on that. Uh, I'm not done making, uh, making all the footage and editing it all yet for that, so that's not done yet. Uh, that's why you haven't seen more of the stuff. But, uh, anyhow. Um, hmm. What else can I tell you? Oh, No Shave November. Yeah, it's been going on a little longer than November, but we're going to go with that. Oh. Uh, Oh, Mario Martinez. Uh, thanks for the compliment on my rig. I appreciate that. You don't like my effing roof rack? You don't have to have one. The reason why my roof rack is so big and heavy is because I use it. That's why I built such a ridiculously large roof rack. I wanted a roof rack that I could really haul things on. Throw dead animals on top of and haul them back from hunting. You know, carry pickaxes and fishing rods and ladders and anything else I wanted. I mean, granted, I didn't have a 33-12-50 in mind when I built the roof rack, which I did. Might have changed the design a little bit, but anyhow. I didn't want little rinky-dink, uh, made out of tin, tubing roof rack that's just there for looks and to put lights on. Wasn't interested in that. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a safari rack that I could literally put hundreds of pounds of crap on top of and haul to hunting and camping sites and stuff like that. I mean, I've had ice chests full of all kinds of stuff on top of it and everything. The biggest problem I have is getting stuff on it and off of it. That, that sometimes it's kind of a bear, but uh, the rock sliders and the big tires help a little bit to crawl around on. I need to make some kind of a ladder system to get onto it, but it's just been on the back burner with everything else that's been going on. Oh, and Infidels Unlimited. No, I don't think I have the holy grail of four-wheel drives. I just try to give people information on my videos and make them useful and answer as many questions as possible. And, uh, you know, I hope you've got some, you know, badass $80,000 rig that you paid for and didn't build yourself. I'm sure you did. <clears throat> but, anyhow, I digress. Twizzle Washington, thanks for, the, thanks for your comment. Glad you like it. Glad you like my videos. Glad you like my Jeep. It's nice not to get nothing but hate mail. Uh, Stefan C. Same to you. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out. Bobby J. Yes, I am Chuck Norris. Not really. Hey, if putting Chuck Norris in my thumbnails gets me more clicks and views and makes me more money on YouTube, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, someone else commented that Edelbrock makes a, uh, oh, Kenneth Skipper. Uh, Edelbrock does make a cylinder head for a 4.0 Jeep. Uh, they actually came out with that right after I built mine. Um. Uh, or I probably would have one on my Jeep, but uh, anyhow, it worked out. Uh, like I said, Jim Oaks, Titan Engines, he did a great job of mine. Uh, real happy with it. Everything's still working great. Um, no issues. And by all means, would you guys quit commenting about how high-volume oil pumps ruin your cam gear and all this stuff? I have not had any issues with it at all. I mean, 25, 30,000 miles or whatever is on that thing. I mean, it's. I think the video's like over two years old now the motor's got like god I don't know I mean tons of time on it I mean been across the country a couple times uh, I have no issues I mean for one I don't just jump in my shit fire it up and take off I mean I let it warm up and I run 1030 motor oil on it uh, I run Valvoline or um, Valvoline uh, I run uh, Royal Purple full synthetic with a Prolong uh, engine additive in it uh, and a Royal Purple filter, or a Bubble One, or a K&N, depending on which is the most available when I do my oil change. I mean, I don't use a Fram or any cheap-ass crap oil filter like that, but yeah, anyhow. 
Um, uh, but anyhow, you guys have got to comment. You're not going to get what you want out of my YouTube channel if you don't comment. Give me some feedback, please. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I've got all kinds of stuff I want to do. Um, life right now is a little hectic. Um, that's why I haven't been doing as much YouTube stuff. Sorry, guys. Uh, as soon as things calm down a little bit, I'll have more YouTube stuff for you. But anyhow. Uh... For right now, SoCal Sniper, I'm out. As soon as I get my new internet set up where I can quickly get these videos up to you a little faster and it's not so much work, I'm just going to be doing more blog, get a little bit more raw video, just throwing stuff out there for you guys, just to, you know, try to stay as involved with you as possible, give you as much information as I can, um, answer as questions as rapidly as I can, you know. I mean, I don't like just typing in comments and being like, oh, there it is, There's, there you go, I'd rather just make you a video. Um, but anyhow, SoCal Sniper, signing off, see you next time. Thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, like my videos, and you gotta subscribe, you gotta subscribe. How are you gonna get all this great intel if you don't subscribe? Anyhow, see you in the next one.